Hello, my name is Marcel Buchmann. I'm Director of Product Management at Vico Software. In this session, I will explain how you can work with cost assemblies. Cost assemblies are groups of components that break down the cost of a certain item in your cost estimate into more detailed cost items. In Vico Office, uh, your cost plan is composed of either assemblies or components. Uh, we discussed the use of components in the previous session. Assemblies are created by first adding subcomponents to an existing component and then converting the existing component into an assembly as soon as you have added all of the information to the previously defined component. For the session, we assume you understand the Vico Office basics as well as how to create a new component. In this session, we'll talk about the assembly, a container for a group of components that contains detailed cost information. The status of the assembly can be active or inactive. Once activated, the component cost is rolled up to the assembly level. VicoOffice Cost Planner supports the concept of an evolving estimate. You can add more detailed information to an existing cost item continuously, without any limits. Adding a new component does not automatically include it in the cost calculation. This happens only after activating the new subcomponents. For example, you learn more about the cost component that you created in the previous session. You can now calculate the cost with three new line items. To do this, you can insert new line items in the cost plan as subcomponents. Again, while working on the new subcomponents, they are not included in the cost plan yet. As soon as you are done defining the required subcomponents, you activate the subcomponents. At this point, the subcomponents are turned into components and the component is turned into an assembly. The cost of the assembly is now calculated as the sum of the cost of all the components included. Select the Plan Cost Workflow item from the Cost Plan Workflow panel after you've opened the project you want to work in. First, select an existing component in your cost plan for which you have more detailed information. Then, insert a subcomponent by clicking on the button in the ribbon or by using the New Subcomponent option from the context menu. Enter a code, a description, quantity, cost per unit, and any other information that is needed into the new subcomponent. Note that the quantity is by default set to parent.quantity, which means that the quantity of the component you just inserted the subcomponent in is used. Add a second and a third new subcomponent and, again, enter code, description, and other cost data for each. As explained earlier, the components do not yet contribute to the project's total cost price. This is indicated by an open circle icon in the row indicator. Select the component that contains the new subcomponents and click Activate Assembly in the ribbon or use the Activate Assembly option from the context menu. When the assembly, and so the new subcomponents, are activated, the price of the assembly is calculated as the sum of all included components. The old price of the line item, now assembly, is automatically compared to the new, rolled up cost. If there is a difference, it is indicated by this arrow icon. The unit price of the assembly is calculated by dividing the sum of the included component prices by the assembly's quantity. Note that the project node is also an assembly and that it is currently not active. Select the project node and activate it to calculate the sum of all component prices for the project. Also note that only components and not assemblies or subcomponents are included in the project's price calculation. The circle icon that was open earlier is now closed to indicate that the assembly is active. 
Select one of the new components and add a new subcomponent. Then enter code, description and other information as needed. Now check how the full circle on the project level changed into a half circle. The half circle status indicates that not all components underneath the assembly are active. There is still some work in progress. In this session we introduce the concept of an assembly, a container for groups of components that contains detailed cost information. The status of a component can be active or inactive and only when it is active the included components contribute to the project's cost. The component cost is rolled up to the assembly when the assembly is active. 